Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the weekly reading for the lovely sign of Taurus. All right, Taurus, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If this reading isn't your story, then it wasn't for you. If it isn't your story, check out other aspects. We've got the wish card jumping out here. Check out other aspects of your natal chart or possibly look at another reader. If it is something that resonates with you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot of Royale here, if you're wondering what deck I'm using. It feels like you've got a lot of a lot of things to do this week, Taurus. Maybe because Christmas is coming up, but it feels like more than that. There's a lot of closing down, opening up, shutting down, reopening, sort of energies coming through here. All right, let's see what that's talking about for you. All right, so we have the Three of Pentacles coming through. So some of you may be operating your own business. Some of you are maybe working on projects that you're closing down or you're moving to new areas perhaps next year but there's as i said this feeling of closing down opening things up here so possibly for some of you it's about maybe closing down a job situation and moving into a new business for others of you it might be more on the personal front there may be a feeling of moving house um, moving into new premises but there's this feeling of closing down opening up all right, so we have the chariot card coming through and the chariot card is the sign of cancer. So you could be dealing with a cancer. You could have predominant cancer in your chart. This is a this is a card of forward movement. It's a card of what they say is rapid movement moving forward, but the sphinxes aren't moving, which implies you're not really sure of the direction you want to go in yet. You haven't really made your mind up which is the right direction for you. All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles. See, this is the feeling I got at the beginning, like this whole um, needing to sort of do, to sort of be in two places at one time. That's what it feels like to me. Like you're closing things down and opening things up, but not necessarily in that order. So there's this energy of having to put in, take out, put in, take out. And that's what the Six of Pentacles is about. So this is why I feel like you're going to be very spread out this week. Very spread out with your energies. All right, we have the Devil card coming through here. Card of Capricorn. I feel like... What it feels like to me here is that you've overcommitted yourself. It's like you've put yourself in a position where you have so much to do, it's very difficult to organise yourself here. So it may be that you've committed to things that you don't really want to do or you've committed to things that you do have to do and you don't want to do them. Um, but there's very much this energy of being overcommitted um, and maybe feeling a little bit like you've over promised and you can't deliver that's what it feels like okay so for some of you this is in the area of a relationship so it could be here that you are considering whether to close down or open a new relationship maybe you have the choice of both maybe you're closing down one thing and opening something new whatever this is Taurus you feel very sort of yeah you could be de dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here in particular Cancer with the chariot card um, but there's a feeling that you're finding it really difficult to know what to finish up and what to start. Let's keep going. All right, so I have the Six of Cups coming through. Now, the Six of Cups is the card of soulmates. It's the card of the past. It's nostalgia, remembering. It's sort of the memories of being a child, that type of energy coming through. All right, and we have the Six of Wands following that. Six of Wands, Six of Cups. Stability needing to be built here. This is about you. There seems to be a lot of change coming through with these energies. A lot of change. I feel like you're almost going to get dizzy with trying to work out what direction to go in next. Very, very complex energy here. 
All right, so we have the Knight of Wands coming through with the Five of Cups. This is exactly the energy I'm feeling here. It's like you've overcommitted to things here. You've gone in passionately and said, I'll do, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do this, I'll do that. And then here you're sort of looking at, well, I don't know how I thought I was going to do all this stuff because I haven't got any time left for myself. I've, I've, I've promised all this stuff to everybody else that I would do and I just don't have time to focus on what I need. And what I want to do here is this passion. I want to do stuff for myself. I want to... Um, perhaps start off a new project I'm in the framework of wanting to do all this stuff but I've overcommitted to everybody else around me that's very much the energy that's coming through here I feel like with the six of wands and the six of cups there's sort of this energy of I needed to learn this lesson it's the energy of I've done this so many times before in my past and I'm needing to understand how to do things differently because it's like people aren't seeing that I need to invest in myself. I need to go back here to my childhood to understand why I need to serve others. Why do I need to keep serving others rather than to understand what I need in my own life? And it really is coming out at the moment, Taurus. This is really sort of being thrown to the front of you so you can understand here the direction you want to go in. Because I feel like you've, it's really hit the fan. It's like I'm really understanding. This year, it's coming around to Christmas. I'm overcommitted to work. I don't have the time to do that. I'm overcommitted to my family. I don't have the time to do that. And all I wanted to do was get my own projects up and running. And now I have no time to do that. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords coming out. Lovely. This is the energy you're needing to take on. Five of Swords coming through. All the Swords energy coming through here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. You may, for some of you, you may be trying to finish out the year um, with assignments or doing like study or uni work here. But there's this energy that I just don't have time to put into my own things because I'm so busy doing things for everybody else. Um, and the universe is saying here, you need to take on the energy here of the Queen of Swords. Like you have to be firm. You have to walk away from things. You have to be prepared to confront things head on. And you need to be able to do your own thing you need to be able to say to people this is a time for myself I want to do this I want to do that and I, I don't have the time to do all these things for you there's a really strong feeling of just over committing here and it's like it's something you've done for a very long time but you're starting to realize when you do it now because so you may hear yourself saying yes when really you're feeling like saying no all right, so we have heartbreak coming through with the Three of Swords. Oh, and the Tower. So I said, I think something's going to hit the fan here. And the Judgment card. Wow. Okay, Taurus, this week for you is about setting things straight. It's about being able to say to people, I don't have the time to do that. I need to invest in myself. The Tower's coming in here. So I dare say the universe is trying to show you here how to ensure that you put yourself first rather than always putting yourself behind everybody else it's funny because somebody said to me once well when you've got a, when you've got children you've got to put your children first and i remember thinking the thing is if you don't take care of yourself who's there to look after your children so it's very much this energy of being able to invest in yourself so you can give to others um which is so important it is so important to look after your own well-being. I feel like here for some of you here, there's a, a very strong feeling of anxiety, of stress, of not being able to stand up for yourself. And I feel for many of you, this has become an issue that's come from your childhood here and you're ready to sort of explode. You are ready to give the walls a go, like to finish everything, lay it all down and start again. This is about being reborn here. So if this is in regards to putting too much energy into your work, your relationships, or just into people in general, there is a very big turnaround for you over the next week where you're starting to realize that you're going to have to cut people out and move away from things that don't serve you. 
This is a time for you to pick up your energies here and move forward. And you're doing it by taking on the energy of the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is very direct with her communication. She's very articulate. She knows what to say. She's assertive. She's clear with communication. And if people don't like it, she's happy to walk away. She's happy just to cut them out and walk away. And I feel like this week is very much this energy of being able to say to people, not today, thanks very much this energy because to me you've been saying yes so often you don't know how to say no anymore and that's very very evident here with this six of cups six of wands energy people don't seem to be giving back what you're investing here and the universe is calling for you to just push all that away break it all down understand what you're doing and what you need to be doing differently and then taking a rebirth so here you are working hard with your three pentacles. Now, I feel like there's sort of this energy that you wanted to do yourself to something yourself. You may have wanted to go fishing. You may have wanted to go on holidays. You may have been wanting to go to the beach. And all of a sudden, you're fixing up your brother-in-law's patio. It's not what you wanted. You've got to be clear about what you want. There's nothing wrong with fixing your brother-in-law's patio, but maybe he has to wait until you come back off your holiday. That's the sort of way to think about it. There's forward movement here, but at the moment you're a little bit stuck because you're giving more than you're getting back. So you're overextending yourself, you're tired. There's this energy here with the devil that you're doing too much for others and not enough investment in self. It's not healthy, it's creating toxicity. For some of you, this is about a relationship here. You may have a relationship with someone where you feel the same, where you're constantly putting in energy, putting in, putting in, putting in, but get nothing back. And you may have wanted to go away for a few days at Christmas and have a holiday, but maybe your partner's saying, no, you need to stay home and paint the house. So there's like this no escaping from this, Taurus. You're going to have to stand up for yourself because you're burning yourself out here. And it's very much this energy of needing to understand that you have importance to everyone too. But sometimes people neglect to see your power, your energy, because they're too busy looking at what they want for themselves and they know that you will, you will assist. So, you know, you've got to ask yourself, um, am I doing this because it makes me feel good? And if which case I need to stop because I'm wearing myself down. It's just really, really this energy of understanding how to invest in yourself. This sort of says to me, this Three of Swords, the Tower card and the Judgment card says to me, you're on the point of burnout here. You're on the point of no return. And the universe is about to show you what happens when you get into that energy. All right, we might read from the Psychic Tarot here. Because burnout is not a nice thing. Not a nice thing at all. And I feel like with this Three of Swords here, you're already experiencing some sort of stress. For some of you, you may already be experiencing high anxiety, breathlessness, painful sore backs. Some of the things that are a sign that you're about to get very, very... Oh, well, there you go. Very interesting because the card of the Crown Chakra has come out. <laughs> this is quite interesting. Oh, they're right at the back. <laughs> so if you know anything about the crown chakra, this is your chakra that connects you to spirit. Um, the crown chakra is located at the top of the head and has been called the thousand petaled lotus or the receiver of light. This chakra is the center of your link with the universe, the infinite and your higher consciousness. It is the connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. The crown centre is the area where ethereal light and energy are received and then dispersed through your aura for total well-being. Now, the chakras are responsible for keeping your body in high performance and each one of them has a job to do. The crown chakra is very, very much about your connection to spirit. So if you're constantly not connecting to spirit, then you are not grounded 
And when you're not grounded and you're not relaxing or you're not feeling the connection or receiving messages from your higher self, then you are really moving towards the point of burnout. You need to be grounded and you need to be really standing in your power here and you're not. Um, you're giving your power to everybody else around you. So what I want to say to you, but with balancing your chakras, obviously you can do that through meditation and I'm a strong um, believer in meditation. Um, breath work, yoga, spiritual healing, acupuncture, colour therapy, those sort of things are really good if you're having trouble, Reiki treatment. When properly aligned, your crown chakra will expand to a point where it's possible to access and tap into the deepest sources of wisdom. But at the moment, you're not really sort of entering into your higher power, which means that you are starting to really be worn down here. All right, Taurus, I will leave you with that. Thank you.